Hello there everyone on YouTube, welcome to another episode here on this Clan Angren campaign. I'm just saving it for the game. This is by the way very hard, the difficulty. I didn't start with Legendary because, you know, I wanted to check out how the campaign would go and on very hard is already a good challenge. So I like it a lot. Alright, then let's continue on this. So, the Vampire Counts are not the important ones. It's the Chaos ones. I want to know what they're going to do. So, Sartorio... Okay, he is going to attack me. And I actually have an interception battle. So, here's the deal. He has three Hell Cannons. Some infantry. These are good infantry, but they actually lack against me. What he does have here is you know, a lot of, lot of abilities there. So Archeon, I see, it seems like he's going to be, you know, a problem. Could have Unbreakable on who? Who needs Unbreakable? And honestly, no one. And I'm going to get with this. Well, there's actually not. Uh, who am I thinking? I thought I had Belagai here. So he does have some good stuff. He does have a... a Another, another thing, so I have two generals that can go toe to toe with him. And then he has like a wizard with soul blight and all that stuff. You know, spirit leech is a problem, I gotta be careful with that. So let me just see one thing. I'm pretty sure that I can deal with the Chaos Giants with my cannons, maybe use my grudge throwers against his hell cannons, and then send these rangers around. The good thing is, he has no cavalry. Like, usually he has no cavalry. Usually he has some cavalry. So there's no flanking abilities. Well, even though on this would be better if it wasn't like like this stuff. Now, I really win to win this battle. The good thing is you can notice that he has no experience other than on Chaos Trolls and stuff. And those units are certainly not going to deal anything against the full might of my army with, uh, you know, all those missile troops. Now the Quarrelers, I'm going to have them on the flanks, while the Thunder is going to be in the middle. Because usually the flanks, it's when where they, he's going to send out the, you know, the other units. Now the Hell Cannons may cause some damage, but I have three against three. So here's what I'm going to do. These guys, are going to be, are they already in range? They are not. So I'm pretty sure that these guys, I want them here. Without auto fire, I don't want you on auto fire. Really want to make sure that these guys can, you know, can surround or. A second, come on. Want to make sure these guys can get their flanking units. Satisfy the crunch. There we go, that's, that's actually perfect, but you know, let's move these guys here. There we go. They are going to be hidden, and I certainly don't want you to, to do anything else. That's that's your purpose, you just want to be hidden, and hit the Hell Cannons on the back as soon as it is possible. Hopefully he's not, he doesn't have anything that detects them. For that, I kind of want him to move towards me, right? So that he'll have to move the Hell Cannons, he'll have to move everything up. Now these units, they're going to be on the, on, over here. Iron Breakers in the, in the front. Flanked with the Longbeards, yeah, that's, that's for sure. There we go. Thunderers in the front, with the Quarrelers on the sides. Probably these guys, like, here. I don't know if the cannon will have the problem of firing with these guys ahead of them. So, maybe just give them some... Because the Grudge Thrower, for sure, doesn't have that problem. But maybe, like, this would be better. There we go. Now, you guy, you're gonna go here. How's your ability radius? Doesn't have any. Has a rune, has a deadly onslaught. Alright, that's good. 
So let's see how this works. For sure I want my grumblers. Okay, let me see. Grudge throwers, cannon in the middle, and then this guy in the other side. Okay. So there they are, his hell cannons. And I want to make sure that these guys can get through. So they can just move in over here. Let me just move them over there. You know, if I can sacrifice these guys to take care of the hell cannons, that would be so great, you know? I'm just checking the range. It's gonna take quite a while for them. Okay, my hidden units are revealed? No. Get away. Get away. Who is detecting them? Now oh, come on. Really? Really? Who is detecting them and how? These guys are supposed to be hidden. Come on, hide yourselves, guys. Hide yourselves. How are they hiding? They're not hiding. I don't know how they're hiding, but maybe they can actually go and attack. I don't know. Okay, they are withdrawing. These guys are already revealed. I don't know how they are getting revealed. Man, it's amazing. I wish they were not getting revealed. I don't know who is checking them out. Maybe those. Okay, these guys cannot attack if I'm really close to them. So I'm just going to move here as fast as possible. Come on. Oh, really? He's going to kill them. They all did nothing. I lost two, three units because of that silliness. Alright. Still fine because we're going to get some something done, right? These guys are good against infantry. Come on, just hide. Why can't you hide? Okay, they are now hidden. That's fine. Siege artillery, you should be able to deal with those Chaos Giants. So that's exactly what you're going to get. Think of the Chaos Trolls are not the units to take on. Okay, these guys, come on, just hit these. Just hit these, come on. So the cannons, I'm pretty sure they can deal with the Chaos Giant. Gonna wait on that, come on. Oof, they just ripped these guys apart, come on. At least they're taking some casualties and they're making sure that they are waiting there. Okay, they're getting some Chaos Trolls there, some Chosen. Chaos Warriors with Halberds, I don't think that's a necessary one. Well, the Hell Cannons just did... I don't know who found them, you know, since they have the Stalking ability. They're quite hidden. Oh well, at least they won't be there for too long. Come on, these guys may yet unbroke. We yet and break and go for it. So this doesn't work. I don't know how it didn't work. I'm gonna have to check that out if they are not routing at some point. So cannons. Pretty much they have destroyed the Chaos Giant there. Where's the other one? Okay, they are taking these Chaos Warriors, maybe. Okay, these guys. Let's go for it. Come on. Faster. They hit them and they are not dead. Come on, just hit a little bit more. They cannot. Well, let's see if my missile troops can now do something about all of this. They're a little bit obstructed, but they're still doing some damage. There is some some damage going on here, but it's kind of okay. Yeah, there we go. It's actually good overall.
Now these are chosen actually. Let's get them. By the way, group four to go god mode. Man, I wish I had destroyed these hell cannons because right now they're gonna start causing that issues there. Well, the chaos trolls are destroyed, so that's good. Let's send everyone against Archeon. Okay. These guys are good to go over there. These guys are good against the Halberds. And these guys are good against these Chosen. Let's go over there. Send these guys here. Artillery, what can you do? Make sure... Actually, no. Let's make sure that I can get these guys. And Cannon can get those guys. Hang on a second. I'm still fighting over there. It seems like everything is going well. My heroes are going well. This Cannon needs to move a little bit closer. Okay, you're gonna stop there. You stop there. I'm gonna fire someone else. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that these Iron Breakers can hang on a little bit, but I'm gonna have to move these guys here. Thunderous, let's go over here. I'm gonna go over there. You should be good. I should be as soon as these guys start doing some damage, you know. I should attack those Chaos Trolls. I, kn I know that the other units are dying there. So, you know, I can attack there. My general is actually pretty well. This guy is suffering a little bit. Cannons and... Yeah, they're destroying these guys, so that's kind of fine. Cannons can go a little bit over there, but you can see that these Chaos Warriors, they just do so much. Leadership is fine and no self-damage there. Unbreakable, come on, let's get those. Quarrelers, they're not getting these guys done. They're wavering, come on. Right, so plenty of these guys are dying. The Iron Breakers are also getting some damage, you know. How are these Hell Cannons? They're dying. So I can attack those. There we go. Okay, focus down everything here. Yeah, I think I should be nice. This thing is going to get away. Let's go. I'm going to go and get Archeon. Archeon, pretty sure that he's going to die. Those Hell Cannons are fine. I always go with the new Rune Lords over regular because those buffs are clutch. Yeah, like you can see that he went even against Archeon. Come on, and Archeon is it's no, not an easy one to go against, you know? These chosen are also not easy to go against. The clans unite. Anu! So as you can see, these guys have no longer any ammunition, but these guys are firing, but it's nice. These guys can just go in melee against him. Yeah, for sure. Iron Breakers, let's get away because you're f face it, you're, you're no having no effect whatsoever. Actually, this guy should go against these Chaos Trolls. He can face them. He can face them here as well. So there's like one or two Chaos Warriors there. That's fine. Withdraw who? Those Quarrelers? Okay, I'm sending these against these Chaos Trolls. Let's go against Archeon. 
Okay, let's make sure that Archeon gets into a wounded state. Uh, the cannon is still firing on the hell cannons. You can see that they can... No, I like the Thanes. I meant the actual Lord who holds the army. Uh, well, it also has those buffs. But what I what I could have is just the potion for this guy. And just control a little bit. I kind of prefer to have the Thane die. In this case, we'll control him a little bit. You know? Let's just get Archeon there. We have less damage here and there. Now I gotta move against these guys. And for sure, you know, I did lose a lot of units, but still the battle is won. And this is Archeon with a lot of buffs, so you know, do note that. Do note that. Come on, Archeon, let's watch him die. I'm still hitting him better. Okay, enemy lord is wounded, you saw him die. And now my... These are the only ones that need attention. So, what I want to check out is, basically, See how many units these guys didn't kill? I mean, these guys kid killed more than the Thunderous. So they were really obstructed. I have to check for that. These guys 34, 10, 53. They don't really cause a lot of casualties. These guys cause more. 13, 16, 25, 0, 6. So most of the casualties are actually done because he, they hang on until they've losen, lost a lot of hit points. You know? So that is the end for it. Good victory. It's not like they cause a lot of casualties. You know, these guys finish them off a lot better. These guys got 45, you know. This guy really killed nothing. I mean, you know. Alright, end the battle for sure. This is a complete destruction of this, this army. That's good. I think I haven't lost any any unit at all. Maybe these guys, which is kind of bad. Like, that was a problem. I couldn't flank with these guys. Usually I would be able to. So it's like I started this battle without two units, so... So they all actually survived there. Perfect. But if Sarthoriel comes in, I have nothing to deal with. So I can execute, or I can get a lot of treasury. How many did I capture? 63, that's not a lot. I can just go with the treasury there. Yeah, it's not like they're gonna do anything. That, that army is destroyed a lot. So that is good. What brings you before the air of war? No, even though you're gonna get me that army. Oh, no, I wanna see how Sartorial takes on. Okay, he got some losses there, so that's good. This means that he won't go for it. What brings you before? Stalia, I don't want to go into war. Can you just make peace with Tilia, please? Okay, the Varg actually withdrawn there, so things are going well. Valhart, I think, managed to survive. Weapon damage for all factions. It actually favors us. By the way, this actually favors us. So you can see that the Varg actually lost a lot of battles. Let me just check the strength ranking right now. Wars of Chaos dropped down from the second. The Vampire Counts are the second. Yeah, and look at that. Varg is 12th. Scaling is 10th. I mean, it's nothing. Let me see trade. Who can trade? Only Talia. The dwarves are... It's improving with the dwarves. Do not greet me as a friend. No, I'm... I'll just take that. Oh, well. No one can trade, whatever reason. But Sartorial is really low. Your demise is certain. This guy is done for it, actually. So, what can I get this guy? Okay, I can get one maker so that he would do the, a lot of damage, but I also like the hard to hit. This is good for missile resistance, but they have no missiles. You know, melee defense is actually better. Let's give him just some weapon strength. That is it. So these guys, since I 
no longer think I need to defend against that. I think these guys with the garrison can defend against this. So Chaos is kind of over there. What I have here can be destroyed with just my units. There we go. I think I'm actually going to fight this one. I want to make some tests. I want to make some tests with the cannons to see if they can actually hit the ward easily or if they can't. So, and at the same time, I'm actually going to make sure that I don't lose any specific units who are very low. So, yeah. Sorry if it's, you know, an, an epic battle, but I really want to make sure that, you know, nothing like that happens. I'm actually going to have my missile troops at the front, exceptuating the rangers who are so low. Then I'm going to go back. I'm actually going to merge some of these units together, like the Longbeards. And then maybe even the crawlers, and then just get some better units overall. So yeah, it feels good that I managed that victory against Archeon. I, I was hoping for it, it went better than I was uh, expecting. You know, if the close, if the rangers didn't get the kill, at least they made sure that the hell cannons weren't attacking. When he started at the attack, it was a little bit too late for him. So, I kind of want these guys to take the brunt of the attack, honestly. <coughs> Sorry, I didn't reach the mute button in time. Okay, so I want these guys barely in range. Let me move them. Let's see the range. Not yet. We need, like, here to have the range, right? Yeah, there we go. They're barely in range. Well, okay. Need a little bit more. Now they're in range. So group one, you're actually gonna go here. And just guard mode. And these guys gonna be at the front. Kinda. Okay, just go like this. You know. There we go. These guys can flank. These guys can stay really the hell back. I don't want them to he get hit by anything. My general is really important in this thing. So important that I want him to make, get back. Bless you. Thank you, dude. <laughs> okay, so cannons. I want to see if they can hit the general. Or actually if they're good against the Chaos Trolls. Because these guys are probably going to hit the Chaos Warriors. They're good against the infantry, so yeah. Yeah, the Chaos... Let's see if the cannon actually gets a good hit, you know? It seems so. Like, they are taking some hits. Let me see how much in health and hit points does it give him. They actually replenished hit points, so... Oh my goodness, that was a big hit. Yeah, dude, those guys just do a lot of damage to it. That's excellent. I wonder if they actually have the accuracy. They seem to have the accuracy for that. Let's see if they can actually hit this guy. Because these guys can just hit the Chaos Warriors and kill them off. You know, right now everything is so depleted that the initial shots will kill them. Okay, let's see the the hit. How much does it take on a nun? Though this is the probably the best hit possible, which is to the hero that has nothing. He has skill one, you know. Come on, one shot so that I can see it. Three thousand four hundred. How much do you take? It? He missed him actually. So now he's getting shot at by other stuff. So that's fine. Let's see if I can see it get shot. Yeah, 200 or 300, something like that. I don't know if you noticed there was a sudden hit, which is probably caused by some grudge thrower or the cannon. So you can predict that it actually does 200. That is a decent hit, you know. 
they do miss them a lot, so I think it's better for the cannons to always hit the, the anti-large units since they have the bonuses versus uh, versus large, you know. So he's probably dead. There we go. That was a great victory, you know, considering that, you know, it, it's just experience for these guys, so that's really cool. Zero losses and they take 88 losses. Okay, that's cool. You see the the overall, the cannons did a lot of damage. So did the onagers, that's nice. Uh, I call it onagers, sorry, it's getting used to the to the term grudge thrower. You know, it, they don't really throw grudges, but you know. Okay, loot gained. I can always get this, but I, I think I want the leadership now. Oh! <laughs> I got the fireball! Okay, it, it just comes at the best moment ever. So who wants the fireball? Where is the fireball? And actually, well, it, it's weapon or it's enchanted item? It's enchanted item. Okay, so who should have the fireball? Probably one, honestly, one of the things. Well, I believe they're supposed to be themed. Is their novelty? Yeah, the grudge throwers. It's supposed to to send the grudge. How are you doing, Heaven's Dark Edge? Welcome to the stream again. Um, so who should have? Hey, can I get more ink? That's nice. Who should have that? Should I give this guy? No, he already has a lot of stuff to do. You know, maybe the runesmith, the lord. Yeah, this rune lord. He should have the bond spell. So someone else can have that enchanted item. Maybe the other thing. Yeah, let me see the other thing. Hang on a second. I think he's here. Okay, he has a silver horn. And let me see this guy. We have a runesmith. Okay, he can have the crown of command. That's nice. Grudge throwers. Doing well, Susan. Glad to see you. Glad to see you too. Yeah, thanks for the description. Uh, I'm not really that uh, knowledgeable in terms of the Warhammer lore about the things you know they have. So I'm afraid I'm, I screw up a lot of things. Uh, I wanted the garrison initially here, but I think I'm actually going to demolish it and just build the refectory there or something like that. Or something for trade, honestly. Because I feel like these ones are the ones who are going to get the best garrisons there. Now I can build the mustering hall, which would be perfect. Or I can get more income overall, which is even nicer. Yeah, like I can even get... Oh, I can... Hang on a second. I can get these guys some money out. Time for a reckoning. I'm going to move these guys away. I can move them into my province. Which is perfect, so they won't take... You know, at least they are going to be replenishing. That is perfect. This guy can have a new skill. He can also have someone here. No, he can't. Okay, so he got, so he got the rally, which is good because I used it. Uh, I can get some more melee strength and melee defense, which is perfect. So things are going well, guys. Finally, things are going well for us. Uh, can always deploy the hero here. I don't think he can reach anything else. Yeah. As soon as I have 7,000, I'm going to go for that. So this one is... Let me see the public order stuff before I go away. So only on the Black Mountains it's reducing. And I'm going to fix that by having this guy there. You know, to increase it as much as I can. So as I want it, I want to, to merge some of the units. I like the Longbeards. I don't like the Slayers at all. I think the Slayers are just too... Uh, they're not heavy. You know, they're anti-large, you know, they do a lot of damage, but I would rather have the... I'd rather have, like, the... Uh, how, how to say... I'd rather have the hammerers, you know, something that is armored, that can deal the same kind of damage, instead of having someone that is not armored that was, uh, at all. Because these guys just take so much damage from a lot of stuff, you know. They, they don't have... Uh, missile troops, well, they, sometimes they have them on the source 
of their, you know, on the source of their um, cavalry forces, you know. So that's kind of, kind of it, you know. So let's disband this unit. And begin. what I'm also doing is just merging units so that I can get it less income time. and make sure that I can. One rug. Yeah, there we go. This this way I have less income issues. You know, that was actually a great victory there. Um, yeah, so next turn I can actually build those up, build more units. Uh, well, the theme of the dwarves in this game deals a lot with their passives, like the Damas Kron, the Big Book of Grudges, the bars at the top. Yeah, I realize that, like, you know, there's something regarding the grudges. They're always focusing on that, on payback stuff. So that's really nice. Hang on a second. Yeah, the Slayers are like anti cavalry or Thralls. Yep, yeah, I get that one. Um, that's that's exactly like something to buffer against large units. Exactly like uh, what I'm counting on is that like, the cannons can actually do some damage against them. And against anti cavalry or large, uh, I'd rather have the Iron Breakers over there since they have the charge defense against all. So, what I really need is something that goes in and kills a lot without taking too many, too many losses, which is the hammerers. Like, the iron breakers are the guys who do not take losses. They will kill enough, but they don't take too many losses. It's it's a lot to kill this guy over this. It, it, it was two or three units against them, probably. Um, and with bonuses from Archeon. And this is still very hard, so it gets all the, those bonuses. If you fight on multiplayer uh, multiplayer battle, an Iron Breaker unit will actually win over a Chosen unit pretty well, pretty much, um, provided there's no other influence or direct influence. Like an Iron Breaker unit can kill. Um, how are they called? Can kill pretty much any infantry, but can also go against the the Chaos Troll and do. You know, pretty much win over him. Um, like a hammer can do the same thing, but will take more losses, but will kill it faster. It's kind of those the, that kind of idea. Hammers kill faster, but they always you get a problems. Always had great success with longbeards with great weapons in campaign. Yeah, exactly. Like I feel like these guys, the best thing they have is actually the old grumblers because they get uh, you know they give some leadership bonuses. Uh, to anyone else. However, I'm going for the person of the campaign. I think I'm going with the hammers as the, the next tier level of these guys. Uh, well, since now I can recruit them. So finally, the first push, or I think this is already the second push from the Chaos, is almost complete. Um, I'm pretty fine on most regards. I'm getting everything developed here, which is really nice as well. Now, there are some armies here. He has like three armies here, so I gotta be careful with that. Uh, I wanna see what happens if I leave. Province is still fine. Plus three is pretty cool. Oh, and I moved there? That was so silly. I always forget that you cannot continue movement there. Now, I can go for the granary here. Yeah, let's go for that. I, I'm going for growth stuff, so why not go for the granary there, you know? Uh, focusing on that as well. And the corruption is lowering here. It's lowering here. It's not lowering here, even though I build that up. So it's kind of a problem there. Oh well, that is fine. So, okay guys, for YouTube that will be it. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time for the stream. Please keep watching.